always loved the Nashville Symphony for a very simple reason, apart from the fact that they play so beautifully. Um, I played in the Tokyo String Quartet from 1981 on, but in 1968 or 9, two of the members of the Tokyo String Quartet, before it even existed, came here to be assistant concertmaster and principal cellist, and they actually had a job um, coming from Tokyo, uh, and they played in the sessions for Johnny Cash and uh, you know, Elvis and so on, and they played in this orchestra for one of them one year, the other two years, and that's how they managed to put the funds together to be able to begin the Tokyo String Quartet. So I've always had a very, very special feeling for this orchestra. Well, it's an incredible thing. And, you know, when, the last time I was here, which was the first time I, I saw this beautiful hall, I, I just couldn't help but think, why does anybody try to build anything else? I mean, this is so outstanding and extraordinary. It feels like an old European hall with beautiful acoustic and, a, and an atmosphere that just lends itself to making music and for people to listen and be engaged. So, I, I mean, I think it's the most brilliant thing I've seen pretty much during my career as far as new, new concert halls are concerned. Well, it's a really interesting four-work program because it's basically, it looks at the Romantic period from almost all its different angles. From the, you know, the most colorful, brilliant music of Pines of Rome, of Respighi, to the, one of the most intense and magnificent 20th century Romantic pieces by Samuel Barber, written when he was only 25 or 26. It's an incredibly beautiful piece. Uh, and then the Saint-Saëns Concerto, really virtuosic and brilliant, but kind of looks back a little bit to Baroque styles. Uh, and then Berlioz, who was a strange kind of genius in a way, because he didn't really study music formally, but he was a brilliant person. Um, and, and there's a lot of inspiration from Beethoven, always in Berlioz's music. Um, and, and in fact, often quotes even. So that, and that's the Roman Carnival Overture, and so it ties in nicely with the Pines of Rome. So it's a, it's a really beautiful journey through Romanticism.